Well, hello everyone, and this is EC the Gamer, and we are back with Near Replicant. Well, I nearly, I was nearly about to say Earth Defense Force, but no, this is Near Replicant. Uh, there's really not much to say, just that. Wow. Uh, and you might be getting the games regularly, the videos regularly, you know, the days that I have now. That are essentially, I'm putting videos. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, those three days. But it actually has been some time since I've played this game. Like the story. Uh, and yes, one thing that I wanted to say is I was actually upgrading the the weapons. I have pretty much... Uh, I have a lot of that. There's like 60 some weapons and there's only 19 left that need to be upgraded to the fullest. I haven't read the stories, which I'm going to do that at the end of the game, maybe in the se like a separate sto a video. But I must say, this is hard to upgrade the weapon. So anyone who wants to do the the this trophy that has to do with upgrading all the weapons, it's going to take you a long time. Not because it's diff it's not that is the the items are difficult to get in the sense that oh you have to go to how do I say this is that you to get some of to get the items to upgrade the weapons some of those items they depend on the rent the, they depend on the randomness of the game so there is there's something that yeah you know which is the monster that gives you the items but it doesn't matter because the materials is random so it can take a long time but I have a fr uh, I have so far upgraded most of the weapons, so at least I'm glad about that. In the source, just this. I think this is the strongest that I have in this moment. Uh, yeah. So, but I will be using this one because I know I I using all of the beast version, beast pain, beast curse, and beast lore. Uh. The, the spears I have one that is extremely strong. Uh, let me see. Was this spear? I think it was a spear. Well, this one is 836, so oh, it's all it's really strong. Oh no, it's this one. It's actually it's 999. Wow, that's it's a really one of the strongest weapons that I have currently. So yeah, I'm going to just continue the story. Uh, we we're supposed to talk to Popola, so let's go and do that. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, getting close to ending the game a second time. Yeah, I pretty much done everything. Side quests. Uh, even getting some of the legendary items, so I should be okay in that part there. So let me see something here. Yep. There's still one left. A wolf figurine. A very fine construction, I would add. Okay, there's still one left. I don't remember which one. Which one is it? But let's go talk to Popola. Learned anything new about the Shadow Lord's key, Popola? You know, I was just going to talk to you about that. You remember the Airy, right? Oh, I hate that place. That depressing shell of a village? Yep. Not so much anymore, it sounds like. I just got this letter from the village chief. Have a look. Yeah, we already read this, but I'll, I'll read it again. Uh, my greetings to you and your village. I hope everyone is going well. Our village has shut itself away from the world for far too many years, and we have therefore decided it is time to change our way. As part of this endeavor, we have resolved to establish a shop within the village. It is now open for business, and I look forward to seeing a great many customers uh, visit from all over the world. With regard to the sacrifice keyword you wrote about, 
one of our villagers claimed to know the meaning behind the term. You are more than welcome to speak with him on the matter as far of your visit to the area. I hope to hear from you again soon. Sacrifice? Yeah. Isn't that the name of one of the key fragments? Yep. That's right. I've been trading notes with leaders from every town in the land. You're amazing, Popola. Yeah. This entire affair strikes me as a bit too convenient. Yeah, Grimoire Weiss, because it is. I'm afraid Grimoire Weiss is correct. Oh my god, this woman. What do you mean? <sighs> the area has been shut off from the world for yeah. years. And suddenly they are asking, hey, we have some information. And now they've not only opened trade routes, but they freely exchange information about the Shadow Lord. Yeah. I agree. It seems rather unnatural and dangerous. You're overthinking it. Besides, I don't care if it's dangerous. Yeah, that's what you're going I to say now. I won't get back by just sitting around and waiting. If there are shades there, I'll just kill them and be done with it. Oh, this guy. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, if that's the way you feel, I guess I won't stop you. Try speaking with the chief when you get there. Okay. So, if you have seen the first ending, you know that this is a lie, you know. And that that letter, I think she was written by herself, you know. Again, they, they have been letting us on on all of this fragments, you know. This is just like a test for them. Although I still don't understand what is their purpose. I, I Again, this game is very confusing. I just don't understand what's the... The area, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go see the chief. I just don't understand... It was a soul-crushing place. I just don't understand what the heck is happening, like, what's the whole point for them to do this? Uh, it's not very clear to me. I mean, I understand some things, it's just that, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. The, the, it's, they have a purpose, but it seems like they veer off from an objective that they have in the past. Like they have something to do and they're not doing what they're what their job, their, their je what the job that humanity gave them. And that's the part that I still don't understand. Why are they doing this? I cannot fathom that village setting up a mercantile. They yeah, must have neither. truly opened their minds. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I have my doubts. Aren't you glad to be going back home, Kaine? Home? Nope. <laughs> that place is a shithole. Don't be so nervous, Kaine. We'll <laughs> protect you. I got me taken care of. Worry yeah. about protecting yourself. Oh yes, I actually saw something here. So let me get this. Uh, sorry. So supposedly, from Warren, I was able to look on the internet. I I actually went to. You already may see in the videos. I finished the three doors, you know, the the, the diary that is inside of our house, uh, nearest house, and once I think once you finish it, this guy appears here, but I don't know what it is for. So let's see what it what he wants. It's so weird that he's here. What's up? Last month, my wife encountered some sheep in the plains. And the foul creatures kicked the very life from her. Okay. I came here to enact my revenge. But the beasts are far too violent for me to take on. Really? So you want me to hunt them down? No, that won't do. Oh, then what do you want? Yeah, what do you they want? You must suffer as she suffered. Okay. My good man, we are hardly in the business of punting fluffy animals to death. <laughs> I've heard you've tamed wild boars, yes? Oh. That you can mount and ride them as one would a common pack animal. Yeah. That shall be my revenge. Mount your boar and ride headlong into the sheep. Annihilate them and all their kin across this plain. Okay. This is hardly the most civilized of assignments. Save your civilized concerns for one who has not experienced my pain. Wow. These animals must suffer. They must pay for what they have done to my beloved. I don't have a problem. But there's no ship here, like... 
the second part of the story doesn't have a lot of sheep. I mean, they're very in a very specific area. Holy crap. Now, what do you want me to do? Holy crap, look at this. What the heck? So what am I supposed to do? Just kill them all? If there's like a limit? Oh, there's a limit. Yeah, there's a limit. I was thinking like, what the heck? What am I supposed to do? Kill them all? What a weird assignment. Thank you. I'm sure my wife sleeps easier now. Yeah, you say so. Here is your payment. Oh, damn. This is really good. Well, if you wish to give it another go, I will be here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for that. I really... I'm really glad. This is a big... This is a good thing for me to make money. I'm not going to use it now because I don't need it. Let's, can, let's go to the area. Oh, wait a second. I need to kill this guy. Oh, damn it. He's not giving me the item that I want. I think this guy is supposed to have an item that I need. For the upgrades. But damn, it's hard to get what I want. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Oh, here we go. Oh, the same. Yeah, the same piece. That's not what I want. Oh, there's another one there. I'll stay this faster. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing there. That's a good way to make money, so that's very interesting. I mean, I'd rather do that than do the door in the the third door. It give you like, the third door in the in the recycle world. Yeah, it's really cool, but fifty thousand is just too hard for me. At least, it's very hard. I, I just don't we find do not it. Desire. Oh, what the heck? This is new. This never happened the, the first time. We do time. not desire needless conflict. If we can continue to live with humans. Oh. Oh, oh I remember. Yes, because remember, uh, if you saw the previous videos, a lot, some of the villagers are actually uh, chased. They're, they're just shade that they're trying to pretend to be, or at least, again, the chase are humans, but they're not the normal humans like they that they were before in the past they they lost their their shape and form you know so they were looking like human but they're actually not then we can continue to live peacefully wow but that young man will come oh so they knew yes the young man will come he will kill us all women and children included what should we do what can we do? What's happening here? I still don't understand. What is... Again, you... Everything that I've been seeing from this game so far, and this, especially this route, Route B, the Shays are actually... They're, they're very innocent, you know, they're not... They're trying to survive, to live peacefully already in the form they are. Um, some more peaceful than others. Others, they're definitely killing and do doing those things. But why are Popol and Devola? Because they're the one who are making this. Why are they making? Why are they creating this situation 
for the protagonist to kill all of these shays, I still don't understand what is their what is their plot. Okay, let's save it here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. This is the part that I have to talk to everyone or something like that. Yeah. This is the chief of the area. Yeah, I ain't loving this game. Uh, I really, I do love it. I still, the jury is still out. This game's better than Nier Automata. I don't believe in it. I don't believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's talk to the chef. Let me see if I can get an app here. I've been looking for an eagle S. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the market. Ah, oh, damn it. It's so hard to get that eagle S. I don't know why. Damn, there, there's so many items that they're so random. It's crazy. I was looking for pyrite, I believe, and you can get that in the in the Baron Temple. And you know what I had to do? It's essentially going back and forth, entering the temple, getting out of the temple, just to try to get it. Okay, let's see if the village can talk to us. I don't I don't think he's going to. Uh, hello, we're here from Popla's village. It's all over. Okay. We came to ask about the letter you sent. Our days are numbered. Our village is doomed. As cheerful as ever, it seems. Yes. You're the one who wrote the letter, right? I... I don't know about any letter. Yeah. What the hell is going on here? It may be faster for us to take our inquiries elsewhere. Let us ask around. Someone must know something. But yes, that's the thing. Why is Popola... Why are they doing this? Like... Why are they se essentially selling the sending the protagonist to kill all of these people? For no reason whatsoever, really. This village. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to just hear anything. Stay away! What will become of... I'm not reading anything because I already read this. Uh, I don't remember. Do I have to go there? Shut up! Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. There's no point. If I have to talk to them first. If you're not a shade. It's so crazy because these people are very uh, paranoid, and I was always thinking like, why are they so paranoid? But they're actually right, you know. They are actually chased on the on the village. I can say maybe half of them. Uh, yeah, I really like this place, but there's really nothing to do here. You cannot see anyone. At least see from what's more interesting. The shades attack the. Yeah, they're attacking. It's old. I don't believe it. Let's see if I can just go there. Yeah, here we go. Let's Welcome. see if there's anything We've here. Got some Come back. Make sure you. Yeah, this is still... Oh, wait a second. I, <laughs> I forgot that I used some of this. Come back. I think this has to be one of the saddest parts in this game. My weapon. Thanks. What happens in the village? Yeah. yeah, there's nothing important. I hope you grow... What's really cool is now we're understanding the motive of the bosses that we have been fighting, even some of the shades, so... A letter, huh? Yeah, I think I heard something about that. Oh yeah, you did? So, you know about the letter? Hmm, maybe I don't. 
I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, which is it, man? What is Emil doing? Oh, uh, and if I may ask, are you friends of Kaine? Yes. You could say that. What happened to Emil? He's just moving. Ah, I've heard the rumors. Here to hunt shades, are you? Yeah, maybe. Indeed. Our aim is to defeat every last one. Oh, <laughs> that's the magic word. Every. Every last one. Everyone. Everyone. Okay. Oh no. Vice! Beware, this man is a shade. No kidding. Damn it! It's a trap! I figured as much. You guys sure are taking your goddamn time. A thousand apologies. We were distracted by the local welcoming party. Want some help? A carnival of murder? I love it! Yeah! <laughs> Say what? Kaine! The villagers are possessed! Yeah, no kidding. But not all of them. Some are still human, so be careful! Wow. Okay, here we go. It's all over. This village is history. Oh. oh it is all over, actually. This is not good. Oh God, help us! Help us, please! We are chains. Yeah, this is one of the hardest part because we actually can say who is a, uh, a Shay or not. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Don't be fooled by this lady. She's a shade. Yeah, and she can and she can know who are shades or not. No. No. You people are the monsters here. Stay back, kid. Your sister is one of them now. I don't care what she is. She's my sister, and I love her. Damn. <laughs> oh, cool. Kanye! And that's crazy that Kanye doesn't die. She's like, she, if she is get hurt really bad, she just get out of control. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Why have you done this? We just wanted to live our life in peace. Stop Holy. it! Oh, Don't no. hurt my sister! Hey, you monster, you possessed monster. Oh, she's talking about... It is you who has lost our, your humanity. You are the true monster. Holy crap. What madness. These people are behaving as if we are the villains. Oh, yeah, you are. You are the cursed one. You are the one who should die. Interesting. Kaine! Kill them! Kill them now! No! <laughs> you've got to stop this! We're trying to save you from the shades! Please! You have to stop! Sorry, I'm trying Emil. to hear. We need to get out of here! Kaine! Kaine, get up! Hurry! Oh, the little vixen has finally run out of steam! Wow. Is it my turn now? Are you sure about that sunshine? Oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm just trying to Stop hear the conversation. Leave us in peace! Why are you here? Everything was fine until you showed up. Not my watch. Oh. 
Oh, I never saw this. Villagers are under attack over there. Look at this. So each time I'm killing them, they're actually that thing is actually accumulating the shade. Look at that. Yeah. Holy crap! They're not actually going to. I noticed that. Like. What? Damn it, Kaine! You gotta get up. Emil, watch Kaine. I'll go clean up over there. All right. Damn, that's crazy. Now that I notice, like. Oh wait, I forgot. Yeah, I can go through here. Here we go. What could those black swirls be? Right, a shade. Put down that weapon, please. I beg of you. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's like the, the battle doesn't start until I get there first. Holy crap. I can't think of this anymore. I think this is one of the boss that I have to do a speed run to eliminate as fast as I can. I blame you for all of this. There we go. That was easy. Oh. Let's see if we can get more information about this one. I mean, we we have been getting a lot of information from some of the the shade bosses, so I never saw those butterflies the last time. By my pages. Is this beast a shade as well? Yeah, something like that. That thing sucked up the villagers. Yeah. No! If we keep this up, that's we're gonna kill them all! That's an, uh, like an amalgamation of all of them. We can't let that happen! Here, here. Our village, our world. Where am I? Who am I? Oh, okay. Those are the, the people combined. I feel something from within the creature. Yeah, no kidding. Is this the combined power of all those shades? Oh, it will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us. The uh. first to waver is the first to die. Uh, I don't know. I sense magic coming from the center of that eye. No kidding, Sherlock. What the heck? Wait! I think those are actual people! Hold yeah. nothing back! Those are shades! What the heck is that? Oh. oh Such here we go. speed. The surrounding tentacles appear to deflect magic. Now, focus your magic on the beast's center. Oh. Hell yeah. Go. Oh, he rolls, he goes Emil. Emil is a powerhouse. Okay. Oh, he's, he's countering, he's countering. Its weak point is located around the back. Try attacking it from above. Oh, I'll try to pin it down. Emil! 
Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, I'll keep it busy. You should be able to attack. Oh, I, 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 was, I wanted to see Go what happened. And get it. Please, Holy crap, hurry. look at this. Emil can handle this. We must circle behind the creature at once. Holy crap. I, the last time I actually left here, so I never watched this, so this is the first time that I've seen it, so. Oh, I hate this. What the heck? Come on. Hello, Kaine. Move closer. You cannot harm it from below. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I have to go back here. Are, are you there yet? Nope. I'm close. You must strike it in the eye. Yeah, no kidding. How do you know that? To forget it is escaping to the inner level. I'm coming. Gotta catch my breath. Yeah, don't worry. Careful. Help anyone if we lose you here. Oh, oh, that was my mistake there. Oh, there it is. God damn it! We beat the hell out of that thing. How can it still move? Its combined powers are beyond even my greatest suspicion. Way too overpower for this guy. I want to see what it can do. <laughs> oh, look at Emil. There we go. Emil. He's so crazy the way he shoots his, his beans, you know. Damn. Physical attacks useless, thermonuclear attacks useless, unknown Fargo has been detected. Dealing with this situation will require proving the multi Oh, damn. I wish that information was given to us. Oh yes. I, I forgot about this. He get, he get out of control. Remember guys, Emil I believe he's a weapon of mass destruction essentially that's he's gone. His instincts have taken hold. Yeah, that's what that, that was his purpose. Yep. He was supposed to destroy the chase, I think. Uh, the situation the that was in the past. This ain't good, sunshine. <laughs> oh, damn, this bar is so. I mean, it was very hard to watch. I mean, I don't, I didn't like this village, but what happens to them is just crazy. Damn. It was not Emil's fault, I mean, he just, he was trying to defend the area, but he got out of control, his power, he's too strong. I 
and that and that's the problem that that's his purpose it's a weapon oh damn and he killed everyone chase uh, humans uh, everyone uncontrollable magic this is new I have to protect the people I love that was my only thought as I unleashed a magic powerful enough to destroy not only the shade but everyone else as well okay so this is Emil talking right but everyone else uh, all of them so many innocent lives destroy eviscerate crush kill these are the dark impulses that overwrite all other thoughts as a being that was created to be a magical weapon these are my instincts or maybe it's better to call them our instincts that's an interesting way to put it Emil's dream rampage Yeah, that's not a representation of what? Of everyone, essentially. Like, those are the things of the humanity. Okay, a classic sounds from deep within the bowels of the laboratory. Thick metal shutters drop down, sealing off the room with a series of dull metal tusks. Abort, abort the experiment. Number six is out of control. Everyone, get out of here now. Get out of here. The researcher words are abruptly cut off as a massive hand materializes out of the gloom and lifts him high into the air. The researcher begins to scream, he scream and scream, the sound echoing off the walls of the laboratory until the hand twists down, coating the room in a deep crimson hue. The rest of his colleagues stand in silence, mouths open, unable to process what they have just seen. Then a female scientist takes a step back and lets fly with a heartbreaking wail. But this is a terrible mistake, for the sound of her cry suddenly brings forth a monster in all of its terrible glory. Okay, so this is interesting. His body is a bloated corpse, his head a grinning skull, and it's a, it is massive, many times the size of a human. The head rolls from side to side of his trumps about the room on all fours, bringing to, the mi to mind the wild maneuvering of some wretched starving beast. Is this the other girl, the, the other experiment? This creature, this thing, is experimental weapon number six. Oh yeah, also named, known as Halua. Yeah, because he's number seven. No, oh no, please stop. Oh god, save me, save me. I don't want to die. Only one by one, the maddening cries of the researchers are silenced. Is number six understand their petition? He pays them no heed. Uh, instead, continuing his rampage of destruction and slaughter with a focus that borders on a session. After an eternity, the screaming stop, the alarms fall silent, and only then does the creature make a sound howling out with a fathomable, and fathomable roar that echoes up and down the empty halls of the blood soap laboratory. It's a sound that curses those who have dared bring such evil into the world and yet one that also seems to be pleading for help wow okay this is one of the, the parts that I don't like about this game this a lot of this information Two sets of footsteps uh, echo in an otherwise silent corridor in the first level of the laboratory. A set below, what be one set belongs to a young boy, his eye blindfolded and his hand restrained. The other belongs to a severe man in a long white coat. The man dressed the boy along by means of a long chain attached to a set of shackles on his wrist. Oh, really? Rubble is scattered here and there across the floor of the corridor, making the journey a seemingly difficult one for a boy who cannot see. Uh, excuse me? Could you please walk a bit slower, sir? I'm not used to being blindfolded and... Rather than stopping the man, only increase his pace, causing the boy to stumble in an, in an attempt to keep up. 
this last humiliation proves too much and the boy finds himself unable to arrest his fall. Without the ability to break himself, he topples to the floor, smashing his head on a pile of debris and causing a trickle of blood to warm his way down his pale, frightening face. Agonized by the pain, the boy inadvertently opens his eye, causing the falling drops of blood to emit a strange crackling sound before transforming into tiny white rocks. Close your damn eyes, roars the man. Yes sir, stammered the boy as he slams his lips shut. He hasn't realized the blindfold has slipped off during the fall, but now he keeps his eyes squished shut so tightly that sparkles appear against the black of his vision. The, bo the boy is a male, uh, also known as number 7. He is a magical weapon whose eyes are cap- Sorry. Uh, his eyes, whose eyes are capable of turning to stone anything that falls under their gaze. Don't look at me, bars the man. Never look at me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm looking at the ground now. So if you just hand me the bill, the blind. Instead of waiting for him to finish, the man stands one foot and presses a mill face to the floor with a heavy black boot. Boot. Sir, stop. You're hurting me. I told you to keep your eyes and your mouth shut. So, so do it. The man knows this boy, this weapon, could wipe him out with a single glance and just to doing him in his way, in this way give him a sense of relief. After making certain the boy is sufficiently cold, the man leans down and retrieves the blindfold and knots it tightly around the boy's quivering head. Right then, on your feet, let's move. Emil staggers to his feet trying to ignore the red liquid oozing down his face the blood doesn't matter, the pain doesn't matter, all that matter is finishing the job they have set out for him to do. The second level of the laboratory is in even worse shape than the first. The envi- the- what the heck? The environs are littered with rubble and rock, making the thoughts of a, a decent foothold laughable. When the man's eyes linger on a session of rubble, staying a deep breath, he has he has a sudden image of worn, gooey, brownish, uh, brownish slather in a strawberry sauce. Holy crap! That's a way of saying like the viscera of the people. His stomach lurches at the top, but when he attempts to avert his eyes, they land on the remains of a human being rendered into what could only be described as space. The man blinks his eyes. His mind goes strangely bland before attempting to determine exactly how many humans had to be sacrificed to create the scattered piles of flesh around him. After a moment his thoughts simply cease to get all together, as if his mind realizes that trying to put such a thing into form is folly. You can go to you can go the rest of the way on your own, says the man in a voice much weaker than he wishes it to be. I mean, what does it matter? You're not even human, you're a monster. With this, the man spins around and dashes back down the hole. A helpless Emil simply listens at the footsteps of his erstwhile captor facing fade into the distance. Emil finds himself alone in a room with the stench of death and blood. For a moment he considers opening his eyes, but the thought of the horrors that await away him quickly quashes his plan. Instead, he stands still and listens intently. Eventually, a far-off sound reaches his ear. That's the hell I heard before. Emir resumes walking, using the sound of the distant voice to guide him, almost as if it was calling him home. By the time Emir reaches the third level, he is moving on memory as much as sound. Now that I'm thinking about it, so so sorry. Essentially, what's happening here is. He has killed every uh, number six. So Halua has killed everyone in the laboratory, I think. So someone actually put her because she was in restraint when we saw her last time. So someone got her there, was able to restrain her. So was that the scientist? How the heck he did it? Uh, his hands and face are covered in fresh wounds from numerous falls, but every time he thinks about giving up, his mind returns to his sister. We study together, we ate cookies together, we cried together, we laughed together, and sometimes I was the only one who go 
we got who got jealous. That's why I never, I was never lonely. Our being together allowed me to stay strong. For Emil, his sister was all he had to live for. So holding that feeling close to his chest, he pressed, presses on, one slow step after the other. Uh, finally, Emil finds himself drawing close to a certain experimental chamber in the deepest part of the laboratory. The hall is very close now, and as he touches the switch that controls the door, he thinks about his mission number six is the ultimate weapon. She is his sister, and he must turn her to stone. The door slowly opens, revealing the massive interior of the experimentation chamber. After a few steps, Miro removes his blindfold and slowly opens his eyes. His sister lurks before him, but she looks nothing like the girl he once knew. Instead, he sees a savage fish crawling on all fours through the shredded remains of researchers. As the thing that had been his sister stopped and still his head in Emil's direction, he focuses his gaze on it. A series of soft crunching sounds emerge from the creature as his magic does its terrible work. First the fingers. Then the hands, arms, legs, and head. What little color the beast once possessed fades to a dull ashen gray. And yet somehow it summons what strength remains and pulls itself towards the male one slow, lumbering effort at a time. Wailing, the massive monstrosity closes in. Is she worried about me? Or is she coming to kill me? Emil feels prepared to accept either outcome. After all, this was his older sister. The person he loved more than anyone else in the world. Alua, I... The moment Emil's fit number six comes to a sudden halt. Silent descent on the chamber as the siblings stare at each other. I'm sorry, Alua, but everyone says you're too powerful. They say it's too dangerous unless I seal you away. I'm so sorry. As Emil watches her body begin to turn to stone once more, number six simply waits in utter perfect silence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Damn. Oh, oh, this is new. The moment number six fortification is complete, her memories flood into Emil's mind. The two of them huddle together in the cold, all alone in the world with no one to protect them. All she wanted was to save her little brother, and yet it was that little brother who, in a sense, saved her. The moment the fortification is complete, Emil sinks to his knee. A frozen sister and a, a little brother rack with sin. Along in this cold cage, the two of them weep in a silent, in a single silent voice. Damn. This game, this character has some such tragic stories. It was our combined power that destroyed the area. Oh, oh yeah, because he he actually merged with her, with her, right? All assistances, entire life, even their memories. We took it all. We took everything. My sweet, gentle sister turned into a monster, and the same thing will happen to me now that I have her power. If my instincts as a weapon win out and destroy me in the process. If that power ends up hurting someone I love, I... So, Emil is in a similar situation like Kaine. She has a shade inside of her and she has to constantly fight that. But that's a killer that she has inside. What have I done? Oh, damn it. I killed innocent people. <laughs> I killed them all! Well, that's still a, that jury is still out. I don't even know if they're actual people. You saved us. I still don't understand you, that part. I'll be dead. We owe you. That's true. But I... It's alright. That's the thing that I don't like about the protagonist. It's like 
again, I knew this was going to happen at the end, like when he's just, he's told the truth about what how this the world uh, a bit of a how it works. He's like shocked, you know, like oh my god, I've been killing humans. We had best be off. Yes. Yeah. This is just crazy. He just, we we just kill everyone here, and that's what's that's what's cool about this. You can see the the damage. Like, let let, let, let just look at it from here. That building survived. So if you look at that, there, there's like a line. You can see it from here, and you can see everything. Uh, there was an actual wall there in front of us, with the with the with the houses and everything. But Emil completely destroyed it. You can see the form of the ball that he created there. You can see it. The crater. He's crazy. His power is just. He destroyed everything. Like there's not even one house in this direction here. I cannot see not one bit. Only that place, and that's not like houses. It's just like a. I don't know what the heck is that. You know, that's just a, a structure, but I don't know what it is for. Let me save it here. I'm going to leave it here because uh, I am not going to continue this. This took me like an hour. <laughs> I thought that I was going to do this fast. I just didn't expect that. Again, whatever is going to be my, my rating at the end of the game, already it has a minus one point. Because of the of the black screen with the text, and the reason why I hate it is that it has some important information, but the way it's presented, I just if I remember correctly, near Automata, I think it did it, but I think it was much you know much better way, and it was not that often. Uh, I think it was done nearly at the end, and but it was just that one moment. It's not like this, like, it's just crazy, I mean, I, I, I'm speaking to it, I'm reading it for you guys, but, I don't know, I just don't, I don't think that's the right way to do it, but it doesn't matter, you know, that's the way they try to do it, I assume that's the, that's just to, not to put a lot of money <laughs> into those scenes, because they would have been really cool, if they would have made those scenes actually visible, and that's that's proof that this is not is this is like a remake slash rem this is a remaster slash remake so they they just make it look better and that's it they make it look better so they didn't change a lot of, of the game but anyway guys that's all for now uh i was going to do another video but uh, i'm exhausted with this anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video as always don't forget if you're new to the channel subscribe hit the like button leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell so yeah uh like it says there what's next essentially what's next is the ending again going to the shadow lord's castle uh, that's all for now guys it's your gamer signing off and i will see you on the next video